Hey everybody, it's Zach again, NewTutorial.com. Coming in, I want to make a video tonight about uh, this whole um, Supreme Court stuff. I mean, you got wildfires out in Colorado, all kinds of stuff going on right now. And uh, just, all right, first, the Supreme Court stuff. Anytime, I mean, this is going to be talked about for the next few weeks. Again, all this stuff is, is a distraction. How you really pay attention to these people, what the world around us, is you see what they're doing in this hand. This is where they want you to be looking at. Watch what they're doing in this hand. Uh, there's a diversion going on. When Usually when they do that, when they bring up an event, it's got all the talking heads talking. It's got all the political commenters commenting. It's got all of the uh, uh, news media and everybody up in arms and, and arguing. It's usually because they want it that way. They want something to happen so that they're, you're, you won't be paying attention to something else they may be doing. Um, uh, I don't know what that is. I'm just saying that's usually how they play this game. And so um, watch what they're doing. I mean, be aware. Stay alert. Uh, the, I'm watching these uh, the Supreme Court stuff, and I'm just, I don't care. I could care less. It's all a distraction. What does this mean for me and my family? I have a young family. I have, I have a, a, a five-year-old. I have another child on the way right now. And, um, you know, what does that mean for me? Does this mean I'm going to have to pay money? I don't want any part of this health care system. I don't want any part of this, this worldly system. And uh, I'm going to have to take part in it? I don't know. I mean, were we just going to drop off the map? I don't know. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like. As, as someone who believes he's living in the last days and who who's, uh, believes that in a, in a greater exodus and not some magic rapture bus that's going to come rescue you, um, you know, what does that mean for us? What does that mean for the bride when they have, they have to run to the wilderness? I don't know. I don't know any of these answers. All I know is I'm paying attention and i um, listening for the Father's direction in, in all of this. So anyway, um, I'm watching this stuff on the news, and I'm looking at the Colorado fires, and it's just half of the west of, the Amer of America right now is just in flames uh, with wildfires. Uh, not just Colorado, but all kinds of different wildfires everywhere. It's just everything's so dry. Around here, we haven't had rain, I don't think, in a week. Uh, it got to a temperature of 110 degrees. I had somebody say 111 on their, on their temperature gauge. Uh, but 110 degrees, that's like unheard of here. Um, Listen, I'm going to give you a rundown on this thing. Uh, why is it so hot right now? Is it because of global warming? No. There's a shift going on in, on our planet. Last year, this last winter, you'll notice that there was huge, unbelievably low record temperatures um, in Europe. And in, even in Israel, in the Middle East, and, and some of those places over there, they had record low temperatures, especially in Russia. Russia was just unbelievable low temperatures. And they were talking about all the deaths and all the people who were freezing to death over in Russia and, and certain parts of Europe. The, the, we've, we've gone, the, it's, we've, this earth has gone through a tilt. And the North Pole is now uh, somewhere closer over uh, to Russia, more so than it was before. More so, it's closer to Russia now than it ever was before. And what does that mean for us? We're now actually getting close to the real equator. We're getting closer, and so we're going to be, be experiencing warmer temperatures like we have never experienced before. How does that work? How is that? Um, why is this tilting? I don't know. There's. There's a lot of speculation on what's going out in space. Is it planet Nibiru, planet X, all this stuff? I don't know any of this stuff. All I know is I pay attention and I listen to what people are talking about. And I just try to see what's going on and I'm just aware. I had to come to my own conclusions and, and uh, here's the deal. I'm prepared. Me and my family's prepared. Uh, I think there's people out there, I know there's people out there who think I'm crazy for telling anyone to prepare to have some extra food set aside for your family, to have a water filter set aside for your family. Tough times are coming. If you don't think this, can, there's going to be a point very soon in your future where you can go to the grocery store and there won't be any food in it. It's not going to be there. And I know some people who think I'm crazy, but I don't care. It's going to happen. And so uh, this America you're living in isn't always going to be the way you remember it today. It's just not. Uh, there is an economic collapse coming. It's a mathematical certainty. And you can argue any way you want. You can call me a wacko, nut job, doom and gloomer. It doesn't matter to me. But I know I'm prepared. I prepared for my house. And during this, while at the same time, I'm still going out and trying to spread the good word uh, of the gospel and, and the Father's good news and warning people to get ready. Uh, but I myself am ready. Uh, it's my job as a father, as the leader of our household, to get my family squared away. So I don't know what's coming. All I know is it looks really bad. And if it doesn't look bad to you, it's because you're not paying attention. You're, you're spending too much time in front of your, your programming machine called the TV and not enough time in your Word. You're spending too much time uh, 
on Facebook, instead of looking at the news, alternative news sources, or even regular news sources, you'd have to be a complete dolt to understand that the world's not turning upside down right now. Um, uh, but, you know, there are some people out there who just love the distractions. They love going out on, on the weekends and, and still partying and hanging out with their friends and, and just not having a care in the world of what's going on, and you're going to be severely hurting. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not a depressed kind of guy. I don't go, oh, man, the world's so bad all the time. <gasps> I can't believe the world's so bad. What are we going to do? I don't st- I'm not that guy. I- I'm a very happy guy. I have a lot of pleasure in my life. I have a lot of happiness in my life. I have a very good home life. Uh, me and my wife get along great. We're always in the Word studying Scripture, and we have a very happy five-year-old boy. Uh, we-, we-, we have a great life. Um, but at the same time, I'm able to recognize when problems are coming and prepare for that. And it doesn't make me just a down, doom, and gloomer guy. I'm not trying to be that guy, but I'm trying to tell you that there's some hard times coming. And I still get made fun of on Facebook, and people call me, you know, over the top for it. It's okay. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, yeah, so the Colorado fires, I mean, is this judgment on our country right now? I mean, we've seen so many earthquakes in the last two weeks uh, over the course of this country um, that are over 3.0. And other places around the world, just tons and tons of earthquakes um, all, in all kinds of places. Uh, the Canary Islands, I think they said 8,000 earthquakes in like two weeks or something like that. It was some kind of crazy number. Unbelievable. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying that there's there's a lot of the crazy stuff happening. Is this judgment that we're seeing right now? You know, is, this, is there no rain falling on this land? I tell you what, if we go through two more weeks with no, I mean, right now the forecast for my area is no rain for another week or so. And uh, we go another two weeks without rain where I'm at now. <laughs> the river, the river I grew up on, which isn't far from here, I grew up on this river. Uh, I can almost walk across. This is a river. This is a river that feeds directly into the Mississippi. And I can almost walk across it. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. In fact, I may go down this weekend and try. Because uh, I can see, I mean, there are green plants growing up in the middle of the river because it's that dry. This is a, a major tributary to the Mississippi. It's not the Missouri, but still, it's a good-sized river, and a river I grew up on, and uh, it's um, definitely uh, <laughs> it's drying up. I don't know. It's some hard times. I mean, I, don't, I mean, if we go in there two weeks here in my area without water, we're going to be some serious hurt. There's going to be some serious hurt. They've already announced in Jefferson County, <clears throat> this 4th of July is just a few days away, and they're saying no fireworks because it's too dry. So, oh well, no fireworks. Um, I mean, uh, I don't know what, we, what we're going to do if we, don't, we go another two weeks without water. They had rolling blackouts, some, uh, some blackouts, I think, that happened uh, in my area as well today uh, because everybody's running electricity. It's so hot out there right now. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm just watching for judgment. It's coming. This politics stuff, this arguing that's happening about the campaign, you got evil versus evil. doesn't matter who you vote for. You're still going to end up with evil. Um, it's a distraction. It's a distraction. So stay focused. Stay in your word. Uh, stay in prayer. And continue to help those around you who need help. And, and be ready for them. Be ready for, for being able to help out people who you see absolutely need uh, your encouragement and your help and give them a helping hand so that's what we should be here for and uh, continue to tell the good news of the gospel and uh, just stay prepared that's it go home read your bible thanks